Hello everyone, this is Starscreen Tron back here with Zeus Tycoon 2 and a somewhat rampaging Spinosaurus, but also kind of glitchy. He looks really cool actually. But, um, yeah. I got a comment yesterday, well, yeah, yesterday. Last night more likely, but, um, of, um, different animals. I was thinking of, um, actually making this animal in a different exhibit. Well, the ornith Ornithomimus. I'm gonna put it in a bigger exhibit with like Gallimimus and stuff, so it's a little bit more in place and fitting. So yeah, basically, it's the Dimetrodon exhibit. I don't remember having that many Dimetrodons really. Apparently, I do. Okay, clicked on that. Let's go. He's, that one's a bit thirsty. I think this exhibit would be fitting for something that was advised in the last video. Dilophosaurus. I actually, um, it was saying for, um, a different video, but, um, I was thinking of, um, it was supposed to be this exhibit, the new exhibit from a couple episodes ago, because it was still a new exhibit back then, and the person didn't really notice what date it came out, so, yeah, I'm basically gonna make that exhibit into the Dilophosaurus exhibit, because I see it being a Dilophosaurus exhibit, because it's small enough, and it's creepy enough, I suppose, I could make it creepy enough. But that, today's episode is basically going to be me making the empty exhibits into something, basically. I'm going to leave the river, because it's obviously very cool. So, I think Dalafasaurus... We're going to go with the J-Pod. Yeah. See, if it lives in the scrub, we're fine. But I don't think it does, so yeah. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. Okay. Yeah, let's go with Tropical Rainforest, because... It's probably in there somewhere. Dilof, Dilophosaurus. Yeah, this exhibit's gonna be really good for it. It's definitely a rainforest animal, so gonna change it to rainforest, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna get flowers and stuff. But, ooh. Oh my god, that's such a laggy thing. Actually, since it's a JPOG one, it probably doesn't matter. So, undo. No. Where? Sad. Actually, there's one Dilophosaurus I think would be fitting here. No. Undo. Just kind of change it. There I am. Ooh. All right. Okay. But um, yeah, these JPOG ones don't. Matter. These look good here. That's all I care about. Actually, it kind of does. Yeah, it does. It's long grass, so it's probably gonna be happy. Go there. Go there. There we go. I need to pause because this thing is lagging so bad. Yeah. Go down. Add one more. There you go. Yeah, this thing is lagging quite a lot. So where? Like that. Yeah. No, that's the dog. Because, well, I didn't really like the or Ornithomimus in such a small exhibit. So, yeah. Is Dinosuchus even alive anymore? See, I never, I actually realized last time, so, that I wasn't putting in gates, so the, the animals were probably starving to death, basically. Which is really nasty and horrible. Undo, come on, this is bullshit. Okay. Let's go down here. Boom. Let's put it there. There we go. Well, that looks a bit unsafe, but oh well. I suppose it's fine, I guess. I know this one already has one. What exhibits don't? That's all I'm wondering. Actually, that might be the only ones. The T Rex exhibit probably doesn't have one. And it does not. Okay. I'm just gonna go. No, stop lagging on me. There we go. Now, this guy, these guys definitely need a zookeeper. I'm also gonna hire some. No! Don't do that. Listen to me. Okay, Zookeeper. I feel like 10 of you. Overall, I don't even need to assign them. They're gonna be, it's gonna be fun. They're just gonna kinda run around and do their own thing. Basically. Is there a space? No. Okay. Ooh, I have a really good idea. She might really suck about it.
I just need to get this going because it's going to lag more if I don't. What am I going to do over here? Probably the underneath the minus exhibit. Actually, no, I was going to revamp this one. Well, I was going to redo this one. I'm just going to probably put some salamanders in there, because why not? Some giant, giant prehistoric salamanders to add to it a little. Because the exhibit's already made, and it looks pretty cool, so. What lives in that place? Probably going to get some diplocalus, because it kind of adds to the effect. Get some diplocalus, because they're prehistoric. What, what do they live in? Oh wait, doy, I forgot, I basically did that. Put there. Now they have some food. More food, there you go. Now what should I, what else should I put in? Whatever this is probably. It's kinda making me nervous. Kinda looks like a buggy mess. What is this? I've never seen it before. Distinct. It's okay. I'm gonna try these. I don't know if they'll work. Is it gonna move? Yes. Okay. So this is gonna be a prehistoric lake, basically, like from the Triassic period, or the late Permian. I don't. I don't really know, actually. Um, they eat what the. The other one eats basically. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, these guys, these guys. Platoposaurus. Platoposaurus? Like platypus, I suppose. Very cool little crocodilians. I've had these before. Very, very ominous, especially if you don't see them. Go like that, go like that. I just want I don't know if I should have salamanders in there, actually. That might be a bad idea. What are you doing? Okay. I think that actually looks okay. I'm gonna get rid of some of. Yeah, I need to get rid of some of these salamanders. I think they should be a little bit harder to find. Come on, let me click on you. Let me click on you. I'll release you into the wild, even though you're extinct, so it's gonna kinda not work. Come on, why are you being weird? Why are you being so weird? Bum 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 bum. That's not that creepy, actually. Oh my god, that actually kinda is. Ugh. Ah! That looks really weird. Oh, they're, they're really cool, actually. They're kind of terrifying, also. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah, giant crocodile! Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. He's flying, oh my god. He's like flying out of the water. What in the world? That was bizarre. Okay. What was I going to do? I forgot. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, no, I already did that. Um, actually, this episode might just be... <coughs> Putting in a different exhibit for the galleys or something, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know how this is gonna work. How this is gonna work? <laughs> really, me? Really? Okay, go there. Cross over. Go against the Dinosuchus exhibit. Because that's smart. So, <laughs> because that's smart, not basically. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's find it. Find the the small fence. There it is. Small Jurassic Park fence. I'm also not gonna put it super close because that's what I did with the Spino, and that's probably not smart. Especially if it's electrical, because it's gonna like. A stupid guest will probably end up like tasing themselves, basically, because they're stupid. So, <laughs> hopefully, people are smarter than I think they are in this game, but I kind of doubt it, because people in this game are not well programmed and they kind of just aren't mental. So, yeah, this is gonna be the galley exhibit. It's kind of I went with that kind of fence because it's Jurassic Park. Come on. Okay, now um, what else should I do? Well, I'm kind of just looking for um, animals right now because I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Gallimimus here, the one from JPOG, because it looks better, like a billion times better. And I'll get you. What is going on? 
I think I might need to redo the Dilophosaurus exhibit because it keeps saying bad things are ca are happening. I'm gonna do a Packy exhibit too, but not yet. I don't know if I want to go with these raptors. I think I like these raptors a bit more. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna change my raptors. Because the ones I have are kind of boring and don't do anything and are really, really irritatingly glitchy. So, yeah, I'm gonna replace them. <laughs> Replace some of the raptors from Jurassic Park. Maybe. Nah. I like them too much. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna go get an, a Velociraptor. Like, Jurassic Park one, but it's gonna be over here. So, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I need to pause also because I have not even finished this exhibit. Why does the Dinosuchus look so weird? Okay, um... These guys don't really need tropical rainforest because they're JPOG and they don't really... They're not picky, so... Yay. I don't have to be so... cautious about them. See, I think I might just go with the Jurassic Park o Operation Genesis playthrough, probably. Where I just place all these JPOG ones or something. I think that this, that this um... That the um, Cretaceous cl the Cretaceous Calamity Cretaceous Park thing is kind of ending. Feels like it's slowed down quite a lot. It was a lot more fun when it started. I'm definitely gonna finish it with like a lot of animals, but as you look at the map, we really don't have that much room left. Well, we do have a ton, but it's not as much as you think, considering that it's only been like a few episodes. So, yeah, I think once that ends, we're gonna go with Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and go like Jurassic Park Operation Genesis style because I would love to play this game on the computer but it costs so much now on like every website so it's kind of sad because I love that game and I have it for the PlayStation but it doesn't work anymore so wah basically so that game used to be so fun it just kind of got scratched over the many years I've had it and just it doesn't work anymore which makes me really really sad Okay, like that. I don't want it to be too big, because, well, it's not supposed to be, so, yeah. Grassland, because why not? Shrink. Well. Split it apart so it actually looks normal and doesn't look bizarre, basically. Yeah, that looks nice. Nice and natural, kind of actually what a river looks like. Okay, now, um, yeah, I'm going to just add some more of these trees. Add some food and then I'll probably be done. Get some sago palms because they look nice here. Get some of these paleo trees. Some tall palms. I like how these trees kind of fill out the whole area. It's really nice. It doesn't take a million years to do everything, basically. Throw some of these. Now I need some ground plants because this is going to look stale. Give some ferns, get some horsetails, just a lot of horsetails, basically. Go, 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 go. There we go. Well, I'm done with the Gallimimus exhibit. I always kind of speed through exhibits. I don't think the animals really care very much about what it looks like. It looks really cool. That's all I care about. And also, nature doesn't need to be perfect, basically, because it's nature. It doesn't really need to be superbly perfect. I don't really know. Don't ask me. Um... Yeah, but the Ornithomimuses might need some more in this exhibit, because there's, like, none, basically. But this is going to just be a herd exhibit. I have some branches up here, because there's, like, no food. Come on, let me place it somewhere. Go. There we go. Put some over here, put some over there, put some over there. There we go. Now I just need to have an entrance so that they don't starve to death, because of lack of zookeepers. Zookeepers must be plentiful in the park, or everything will die, basically. Okay, Ornithomimus, Ornithomimus. Or actually, it might be... Ornithomimus is probably the most accurate of the ostrich dinosaurs here, because, look, it's feathery. So, and it looks really cool, so... Obviously, the ones from Jurassic Park, Par Jurassic Park Operation Genesis aren't going to be that grand, I suppose. But I might do a Jurassic Park one of this, like, um... Like Cretaceous Park, but Jurassic Park, obviously. It's gonna be um, 
basically using everything from Jurassic Park Arps and Genesis and that kind of stuff overall basically boom I'm gonna have like a tree grove there because I didn't mean to do that on purpose <laughs> um, but it, it's it's nice having all sections like that anyway have some birch trees wow this is so laggy I'm gonna pause it because it's really laggy okay and oh uh, my god stop lagging I think it's because we have so many stinking games on this thing it's just lagging it so much and by the way, for Sims, the Sims right playthrough, I'm probably not going to go very much longer because it's not that fun. I'll probably do like different versions, but it, that was only for the season of Halloween. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it with normal people. <laughs> I don't hate the Joanne Witch Lady I made, but it it's getting boring. I think that's not really going anywhere. So, where I need to stop saying basically. It's really stupid. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be really cool, and I'm gonna have like um, I don't really know. I'm just running out of ideas right now. I'm gonna get more games definitely, but for now, I'm just really, really tired with the games I have because this game is really kind of old, and I don't think it's bad that it's old, but people have been sending me annoying comments about it. So I definitely should bring make a better playthrough probably. One that's more modern, probably. <laughs> like, uh, actually, none of the games I'm playing, I'm playing are modern. So, oh well, I'll definitely play some modern games eventually. So. Dang it! Stop lagging. I'm not even doing anything. It's just lagging. One, two, three, four. I actually don't really like the Ornitha minuses yet. I think I'm gonna get rid of them because they're kind of don't fit in. What? Dang it, the T-Rex is rampaging. The world will end! No! I'm not letting you eat my friend, my people. Like the altar is. Dang it, stop lagging. I can't even shoot him if you're gonna lag so much. My brother's been downloading a ton of things on here, so it's almost impossible to keep this thing from lagging. Basically. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! 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 Ugh! Oh my god, stop lagging. I no, I do not want to shoot that thing. Shoot this. Actually, pay attention to what I'm doing. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god. Stop doing that. Okay, that that it's just because of the other animals, isn't it? Because there's too many galleys or something. And fire. Oh my god, that took way too long. Probably like five minutes. Well, that's not that long if it was in real life, but in this game it's too long. I'm gonna get rid of some of these because this is ridiculous. It's lagging so badly. So very badly. So very badly. It wasn't doing this earlier, it's just being really lame. Which is irritating. And I'm also gonna get rid of one of these Ornisa minuses so they're a little bit harder to find. Galleys. Yeah, that's probably all I need to do. Yeah, it's lagging a lot less, so that's what I care about. Well, actually, no, it's not. Um, but yeah. Everyone in this has been... Well, uh, let me try that again. Um, everyone, this has been Starscream Tron. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. When, when we do more of these. But, um, bye-bye.